Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to How To Factions episode 6 guys and in today's episode we are getting back to basics. I know last time I said that we're doing cannoning basics it was extremely complex stuff and I shouldn't have gone that in depth that early especially for some of the people who are asking for cannon tutorials probably don't really know 100% what they're doing when it comes to cannoning or haven't even learnt how to cannon yet so I thought I may make an actual simple cannon for you guys to use if you guys don't know how to make a cannon I guess you could say and then if you guys want to learn further on and do some more cannoning sort of stuff you can go on my Leon Archer Basics 1 which was the previous episode down below so let's get started and straight into this pretty much this is just a simple cobweb cannon nothing special I'm just going to show you guys how to operate it and how it works and then I'll pretty much show you guys how to build it I'm not going to build one again but I'll just uh, go over each little piece uh, intricately. <laughs> I can't even say that word. <laughs> I'm such an embarrassment. But I will go over it and uh, explain everything uh, to you guys. So pretty much, boom, the sand separates from each other's blocks. And it stacks about 10 sand. So with this toilet sort of cannon, you can't really stack more than 10, 20 sand. Maybe 30 if you're extremely lucky. But... This cannon is extremely inconsistent and does not work half the time. So, good luck with the cannon. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you find it helpful. And uh, let's get started and straight into it. So, pretty much what you're going to do as soon as you're making a cannon like this is you're going to make a barrel. You're going to make it about five blocks long for this uh, sort of cannon. You don't really need it any longer than that. That should be good. So, once you've done that, you want to go ahead and you want to go and make the propulsion. Uh, usually you want to make it roughly five high the uh, barrel as well, but pretty much you're going to place the propulsion like this I usually go from front uh, from front to back like so so I'll work my way like that So I place all the dispensers once you've done that. I usually place two pieces of um, Any block whatever you're making the cannon out of and then you want to place the three um, the three freaking dispensers like this right now uh, pretty much what they are they are the boosters they push this TNT here forward so these go off about a tick earlier than these ones because these have a repeater hooked up to them which means they're going off one tick later and then this uh, dispenses here so which means these ones are going to go off earlier which means it's going to push these ones here which is going to give you more propulsion I guess uh, which equals more bang for your buck pretty much and I apologize if I repeat a lot of things or if I can't even English right now <laughs> I am kind of tired. I was trying to sleep before and I couldn't sleep and I was trying to fix my sleep pattern so I was like well if I can't sleep right now I might as well freaking get an episode done so when I sleep there's an episode up for you guys so I hope you guys enjoy this I hope you guys find it helpful because I'm kind of tired right now and I'm recording this for you guys oh team speak no no why why do you move me to AFK room why but anyways, once you wired that all up and put a button and stuff like that, you want to go ahead and you want to place two pieces of redstone and you want to get five repeaters and place them like so. You want to put them all on full ticks and once you've done that, you want to get a comparator. I'm just going to show you guys how to use this and you want to go ahead and place it straight down like that. As you saw before, it had like a red kind of tick like that. All you do to that is you just right click on the comparator and you do it like that. So, once you've done that, you want to go ahead and you want to make a circle pulse like that. And pretty much what that does, it just enables it to, I guess, kind of rapid fire three ticks into each one of these dispensers. Which means, um, instead of it shooting two pieces of TNT, it's going to shoot six pieces in TNT. Which is always better when you're trying to get a bigger hole in the wall, etc. like that. So, hope you guys enjoy this uh, and find it helpful. And so uh, let's get started and straight to the next bit. So pretty much the next part of this, or well, the next component of this, is the sand stacker. So that's pretty much the pistons and the timings for them. So pretty much it's really freaking simple. All you need is 10 full repeaters on max delay. And once you've done that, you just want to make a redstone signal going over here. You want to go ahead and place two repeaters like so, and four pistons like so. Um, and you're also going to have the block underneath. Uh, you want to make it at least one block off the ground um, from where the barrel is. I usually like to actually, well where the bottom of the platform is I guess you could say, I usually like to lower the sand part one block to put the slabs there just because sometimes if you have it like this, um, let me like do an example, 
like, let me get some sand. So pretty much you'll shoot it out, and then it, it won't really drop from there, because that would break. But sometimes what it will do is it will kind of shoot it like that, and it will kind of just get stuck on this thing here. Oh god damn it, screwed up the water currents. But anyways, yeah, it'll just get stuck on that thing and clog up your cannon. It's kind of pain in the ass. So that's why I like to have this, because it pretty much makes sure if it doesn't stack or if it doesn't get shot out of the cannon, it's nearly always going to get to turn to an entity. So that's pretty much it to do with this tutorial. I'm just going to fire it one more time and show you guys the cannon. And uh, we're going to finish up this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. If we could go for 40 to 50 likes this episode, that would be appreciated. And uh, also, if you guys could start suggesting ideas what I could do in my factions episodes, because I'm kind of running out of ideas, and a few people have been saying that it's getting a little bit repetitive just doing factions, I mean, just doing raiding and PvP every episode, and they were saying I could maybe do something else, and I'm not 100% sure what I want to do. So if you guys have any ideas of what you think I should do in my videos and my factions episodes, maybe something that will, like, lighten the videos up, make them a little bit better, or make them just, I guess, uh, a little bit more original, or just something that you guys would like to see. Uh, that's always appreciated, and down below, let me know if you guys want to see any more tutorials, and if you do, let me know down in the comments down below what you're going to see for next episode. And finally... For the last thing to finish this episode up, if you guys could share my channel around with a few friends, that would be muchly, muchly appreciated and would mean a lot to me. Uh, just because the fact that we're getting extremely close to 2,000 subscribers, and it would mean the world to me if we could hit it pretty soon, because that's a freaking massive milestone, guys. I can't thank you guys all enough. Uh, we've hit it so quickly since we hit 1k, and I just can't thank you guys for all the support. It's just been... Quite simply amazing, it's been breathtaking, this experience my, of my YouTube, I guess you could say. And it's just amazing, so thank you guys again. I hope you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace, and goodbye.